Uh, but most Americans, when they witness a crime, want to help their government. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Mike Pence. Yeah. That's the idea. Representative uh, Eric Swalwell. Mm-hmm. Um, our legal lad, Tristan Snell, tweets, Mike Pence claimed executive privilege to avoid testifying to the J6 committee. Yep. Mike Pence is now claiming legislative privilege to avoid testifying to DOJ and panel federal grand jury. Neither privilege applies to testimony about criminal conspiracies. Correct. Um, thank you. What is it? Crime fraud. What have we learned, boys and girls? Crime, Crime fraud. fraud exemption. Yes. S- Starry decisis. Uh, sure. Yeah, ipso post facto. Okay. All right. You have to, oh, your beard looks fantastic this morning. I should point out by saying you Thank look you. freshly shorn. I I imagine because the uh, star of stage screen, and of course, uh, Bill Maher, Malcolm Nance. Yes. Coming up, he she, he was fantastic. Yeah. I'm also wearing my Kamala Harris T-shirt in honor of uh, Bill Maher. Apparently, uh, saying Kamala Harris's career is over. She'll be surprised to know that. Did you just watch Bill Maher last night in preparation? No, 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 okay. no, no, no. I just, I only watched the Malcolm segment. Okay, but all it right. was enough to catch him, uh, Kamala Harris bashing. Okay. And, oh, oh, she just didn't happen, so that's not going to work, blah, blah, blah. She'd be surprised to know her career is completely over because Bill Maher says so. Tucker had some thoughts about it, too. Yeah. What did Tucker, oh, Tucker Carlson? Yeah, Wait, 20. So, wow, really? <laughs> is really? there another Tucker? <laughs> you, got, you got multiple Tuckers in your life? Yeah. yeah. Wait, <laughs> did he? <laughs> Did he blame her for the invasion? What's happening? Uh, it, uh, for the we, UFO invasion listen? that we're clearly in the he middle of? He her na- Oh, you know what? Just listen okay. to it. Okay. All right. Thank you. So here you have three unknown objects in three days. Oh, if wow. these things are extraterrestrial, what we're seeing is an alien invasion. Oh. That means at some point they're probably going to demand to be taken to our leader. And what are we going to say then? Uh, this is Kamala Harris. She once dated Montel Williams, but now she runs our country because her boss is senile. Ooh. Pretty embarrassing. Just anything in the shut up cannon will work. Shut the f- up. Shut all the way the f- up until you reach the top of shut f- mountain where there are no more f- ups to shut. That's from Grace and Frankie. And we know that's from Grace and Frankie. Yes. Stop tweeting us. That's not the one we need. That's right. not the one we don't know. People, I found it. We know that's from Grace and Frankie. Yes, Thank we you. know exactly. Shut We've the watched the video many times. This, this okay. is the one. This we're is looking the for. one we don't know where it's from. Oh, bitch! Police, Tucker, take bitch. your line of bull down to the corner market and sell it there because this five and dime isn't buying your line today. Yeah, there you go. That that's also, the one. That also works fantastically well for yeah. what Tucker just said. Yeah, her boss is not senile, and she <laughs> is a fantastic leader. I just, the mainstream media, can I just say, there have been a number of polls showing her and Biden beating yeah. uh, DeSantis, you name it. It's just everybody calm the down and shut the up. Everybody. Goodness. Hmm. You wouldn't think I'd be so cranky. I had a delightful Valentine's Day. You posted yummy things on Instagram from yeah. yours. Delicious. Oh, fantastic. Oh. Well, what was that? Oh, that was the Pele's Kiss. Oh. I recreated the cocktail that we had on our honeymoon. Oh, that's fantastic. That's good. I don't, at least I have a girlfriend. I don't hate Travis as much as I normally do on Valentine's Day. Okay. Oh, I'm not, why am I, my nose is running. What's going on? That was delightful. Don't, no. Okay. Snot bubble? Yeah, I had a snot bubble. Thank God I already have a girlfriend. Are you allergic to cute? <laughs> you allergic to my cocktail? <laughs> don't know. Yes, it was cute. All right. Uh, so Malcolm Nance, uh, Carl, Carlos Osraki, and of course, superhero Bob Sesco. Mm-hmm. All coming up on what? Why are I you giving me a weird look? Oh, okay. Oh, also, you decided to t- uh, to t- uh, torture me with Hannity and Cruz in addition to Tucker, just well, because because the U.S. the invasion has begun and Fox has gone all in on this invasion. Right. right. Okay. Here we go. Spoken to the American people about it, but it could be an unidentified flying object, maybe an extraterrestrial. That's that's no rat. You never know, Senator. Well, you know, uh, we we've got aliens crossing our southern border. Maybe they're crossing our northern border in the skies it, too. Il- you know, it, apparently, illegal immigrant, illegal alien is no longer correct. But yes, I understand your point. <laughs> I slept during the Fox music. <laughs> but like their side believes oh it. Oh my gosh. That okay. There are people think that there's aliens now. Mm, mm. Oh, uh, Hannity also had Marjorie Taylor Greene on to complain that not enough money went toward rail safety in the bill that she voted against entirely. Correct. So, right. You can see how that's 
Did he bring that up at all, that that might be hypocritical in some way, that it was uh, infrastructure week every week under Trump, but none ever actually ever got done, and when it did get done, she voted against the whole thing, which included rail safety? She can take that line down yeah. to the corner market, because this five yeah. and dime ain't buying it anymore. Her, yeah, and buying her in line today. Where's that from, people? Get to work. If you send us, shut the up mountain one more time. We know that. We, will, we will snap. We, <laughs> you guys don't understand we, we how on the edge. We, uh, oh, we try to ignore, but we are actively yeah. violent towards you yeah. now. If yeah. you send us yeah. the Grace and Frankie. Clip. I found out where it's from. It's from Grace and Frankie. <laughs> Seriously, if you want to get on our nerves, this is how you do yeah. it. Yeah. Yep. Oh, don't yeah. do All it. Right, we if, apologize. if you're on our Twitter, There's I'm going to mute or block you. We apologize. There's a lot of whores up in this house this morning. A lot of bastard people. We apologize. We're in a mood. We don't know. We've had to talk about Donald Trump for too many years. Yes, Marjorie Taylor Greene reacted to last week's hazardous train uh, derailment in East Palestine, Ohio, which released toxic chemicals, chemicals such as vinyl chloride into the air. Residents reported seeing uh, dead wildlife. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, they're concerned about wildlife, like, I guess, on the right. Yes. I saw that, something like 3,500 fish yeah. died. Yeah. No, I know. Mm -hmm. But That's crazy. they're pretending that they care about wild. Are you kidding me? Uh, appearing on Hannity, Green said uh, the money for railway safety allocated in the bipartisan infrastructure bill that she voted against right. was insufficient. She voted it down. Right. So. Okay. Why are you then yourself? she accused uh, AOC and other Democrats of ignoring wildlife deaths. <laughs> right? Really? They vote against every environmental mm -hmm. bill er ever. Uh, the, don't they always make fun of it? Like, oh, but the prairie dog's going to... Isn't it what, what they say? Yes. Yeah. For every environmental regulation? Yeah. Okay. But the real problem, Sean, is Pete Buttigieg. Of course it's the gay guy's fault. Of course. He's more interested in equity and inclusion in his hiring practices and grant-giving schemes. Okay. Whatever, Barney Rubble. Um, by the way... Uh, how, how, how could Pete Buttigieg have... Have it's obviously this. the it's train derailment is his fault. He's transportation fault. secretary. No, I, I'm Actually, just wondering what her what her reasoning is for it being. Oh, that's your first mistake is asking for her reasoning. No, no, no. She had to have said something in there about why it's Pete Buttigieg's fault. Because he says she, he's she. I just his read it because she's hiring too, practices. All he care, cares about is inclusive hiring practices, and he's not paying attention to trains or something. Whatever. I don't really. Don't make me delve into that. Well, I would like to delve brain. into that because that's what she said. Because he's too focused on inclusive hiring practices. Yes. Yeah. I read what she said. What he said right after she said. Sorry, Barney. I didn't mean to. Though. I did not mean to misgender Barney Rubble, and I apologize. Jeff Tiedrich said, weird how the Trump administration rolled back safety regulations for oil trains, and now we have a big environmental disaster in Ohio involving an oil train. Must just be one of those strange coincidences, I guess. <laughs> Thank you. As usual, it was Trump, like all Republicans, that rolled back any kind of regulation or, or safety stuff that now, of course, they're blaming Biden for and Pete Buttigieg because he's, you know. Gay. Right. Right. I don't know how his being gay caused a train accident. Maybe there's a rainbow in the sky and the engineer was like looking at that and not paying attention to the yeah. tracks that this train was on. Yeah, he was thinking about P uh, Hunter Biden's well, penis. And, and also, uh, Mike DeWine said that the train company, Norfolk Southern, was supposed to tell the state yeah. that there were chemical, dangerous chemicals on the train yes. and did not tell the, tra yes. tell the, tell the state. And he complimented Joe Biden. Yes, said he he's did. getting all yes. the help he needs, right. blah, blah, blah. Um, call to activism said MAGA is mad at President Biden for a rail accident that was only possible because of railway rules deregulated under Trump. You cannot make this stuff up. Um, yes, thank you. For it's just so exhausting, every yeah. single issue. It's not how do we make it better, how do we help. It's always how is it Joe Biden's fault. Even if it, And if that doesn't work, they have to go back to it's Obama's fault, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And as usual, it, it was in place under Obama. Trump is the one that yep. rolled back the... Okay. All right, where are we? Uh, Eric Swalwell. Let's get back to the coming of the justice. Okay. okay. The good stuff. Well, Mike Pence's book title that he just released is called So Help Me God. That's what we say at the end of the oaths that we take to serve public office. And one of the parts of the oath is to defend our country. And by not standing up and helping his government, he's actually abdicating the oath. That is the title of his book. I, I really hope he reconsiders this because I think he's better than this. Oh, oh, oh. Chuck Lee such sense to appreciate so. your concern for the people oh. that tried to hang him. <laughs> I'm <laughs> still not hung. No. Can I just say, oh my God, stop treating him like some noble hero, anybody. He's, he did the, the right thing once because he had to right. after finding every way to not do the right thing. And now thing. he's trying to fight to now not do the right thing. Oh my God, exactly. One last one, Swalwell. 
Mike Pence and Nikki Haley and you know all these people who disavowed Donald Trump and, and now recognize that Trumpism still prevails are trying uh, you know to rehabilitate themselves uh, you know to get well so to speak with that crowd and as Michael knows and, and I know because uh, I, I interact with uh, you know Trumpism in you know in my district across the country uh, with friends and families who still support the former president they are never ever in a million years going to convert to a Mike Pence voter. It's just not going to happen. And that's why if you take a step back as Mike Pence, think about that greater good. Think about that moral obligation to do the right thing. I, I just don't know you know, what blinders he's wearing that he thinks that he's going to get back in uh, with them. Uh, okay, in other justice news, our friend AG tweets, uh, Special Counsel Jack Smith has asked a judge to compel Evan Corcoran to testify using the same crime fraud exception. There's that phrase again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. To attorney-client privilege, conspiracy to obstruct justice, anyone? Oh, I do like the way this Jack Smith is shaping up. He is doing it. Yeah. Um, so another attorney for Trump has appeared in front of a federal grand Which jury. One? Alina Hama. Bless you. Thank you. Mm investigating okay because i know i have to identify which crime right i'll get to that okay. i'll get to your line okay <laughs> we're at his line <laughs> this is the mishandling of classified documents uh-huh. if you're wondering which By trump who? crime are we speaking of uh, alina haba bless you you're welcome um oh i'm sorry uh this is the additional trump attorneys that appeared in front of the grand jury were evan corcoran and christina bob is that who you are what you do okay and both in her case both because she works for trump that sounds more like the. I, 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 I. That sounds more like what you're doing than. It's the cartoon version. Uh, yes. Th- than the than the clicky clicky thing or yeah, whatever. Whatever the dolphin yeah. sound. It does not sound like a dolphin. This is Christina bobbing. It's terrible. Okay. This makes. Uh, you were shoving her own head down. <laughs> Seriously. It's an impress part of the impression. <laughs> It's super clean on the radio because you can't see that until you just said it. Well. Okay. The camera wasn't on me. Alina Habas. <laughs> Oh, uh, bless you. Thank you. Most uh, recent claim to fame was as Trump's lead attorney in the case uh, filed by Letitia James. Remember that? She said she reviewed uh, documents across several tr- uh, Trump properties several weeks before the FBI search, according to Alina Haba. Uh, bless you. Thank you. She said she did not find any documents requested by James. And so then the other two attorneys, Evan Corcoran and Christina Bob. Is that who you are, what you do? I, I, I. You could say that about Corcoran. In June, Bob. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hobbity, 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 you're you're drifting further away yeah, now. I, uh, <laughs> I don't improv. She signed a statement of uh, a, a document drafted by Corcoran that there was full compliance for classified documents directly contradicting what was found by the FBI. Wait, who signed My point sta- is they're all going to in the hole. They're all going to jail for Trump because they all lied for Trump. Who signed the statement? Christina Bob. Oh, okay. As a who ya? What to do? <laughs> all right. I think we may have that's especially in the ground, pounded it in the ground, we buried it. Well, we need to do that in segment one of the show. We're throwing dirt over it. Now yeah. Carrie's hand is going to come up through the dirt. That's how far down we buried it. <laughs> we could revisit this in hour three and people will not know the difference. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. I hope you'll join me on my new audio podcast, Justice Matters. I'll be using my 30 years as a federal prosecutor and Army JAG to unpack, break down, and explain the legal issues of the day, particularly where the legal intersects with the political. Please look for Justice Matters with Glenn Kirshner wherever you generally get your podcasts.